For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Senator? I am. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do I, Barack, solemnly swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. That I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. That I will execute the off faithfully the, pres the office of President of the, the United States. The office of President of the United States faithfully. And will, to the best of my ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you, God. So help me, God. Congratulations, Mr. President. He was, he was, he was more nervous than Obama. Yeah. Did you think you would see an African American president in your lifetime? No, okay. honestly, I didn't didn't think I'll see that. I'm glad it did happen. Yeah. Uh, I'm just a little shocked. I say, it. yeah, it is, it is shocking, and now he's got to perform, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I, that's what that's what I'm more curious to see how see where it goes uh, from what from this point on. As far as I guess how bad the economy was, see how things see if. Right. See if everything, see how he gonna work things out. My fellow citizens, I stand here today humbled by the task before us, grateful for the trust you've bestowed, mindful of the sacrifices borne by our ancestors. We understand that greatness is never a given. It must be earned. Our journey has never been one of shortcuts or settling for less. It has not been the path for the faint-hearted. Oh, well, in, when I finished high school in 63, uh, pretty much everything in the South was segregated. Uh, you know, the, one of the main restaurants in town, they had uh, a black side and a white side. And everybody, you go in, you go to the black side, and the white people go to the <laughs> white side. <laughs> and uh, about two years after I left, I come back home, and I went to go on the black side, I go in, and it was all mixed together. It was amazing, you know, what a couple years did. Let it be told to the future world that in the depth of winter, when nothing but hope and virtue could survive, that the city and the country, alarmed at one common danger, came forth to meet it. America in the face of our common dangers, in this winter of our hardship, let us remember these timeless words. With hope and virtue, let us brave once more the icy currents and endure what storms may come. Let it be said by our children's children that when we were tested, we refused to let this journey end, that we did not turn back nor did we falter. And with eyes fixed on the horizon and God's grace upon us, we carried forth that great gift of freedom and delivered it safely to future generations. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Yeah, that, that's, you know, I still can't get over that, man. Looking at looking at that and seeing you know seeing look it says President Obama, yeah. you know, and I know this sounds stupid to say. Do you ever watch uh, Twenty Four, the movie? Yeah. <laughs> you know that's what made me start watching it. It was a black guy running for presidency. You know I don't I I don't I didn't all of a sudden uh, think I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and unemployment is not going to exist. <laughs> you know it, it's it's going to take some time and effort. Uh, um, I just can't imagine, and I hope people don't don't judge him like that. As opposed, I mean, to say that 
you know, three weeks from now, if the unemployment rate actually goes up, they'd be like, well, see, look, he's not doing a good job. If you had to give him a piece of advice, what would, what would it be? I mean, just, it could be something really general. Or what would you like to say to him if you, if you had, did have the chance to meet him? What would I say to him? Uh... <laughs> That is a good question. What would I say to him? Obama is now the 44th president of the United States.